Last month, Environment and Climate Change Canada released a science assessment of plastic pollution to help the federal government ban single-use plastics by 2021. Single-use plastics can be anything from plastic straws, shopping bags, water bottles, cutlery, and styrofoam containers. So how will the Canadian government ban single-use plastics by 2021? This report was published by the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Jonathan Wilkinson, and the Minister of Health, Patty Haidu. Wilkinson said that science confirms that plastic pollution is everywhere and is negatively impacting our environment. He said the assessment will allow the government to follow through on their commitment by next year, because Canadians expect us to. The report also found out that Canadians throw away over 3 million tons of plastic waste every year. Only 9% is recycled and the rest ends up in landfills, waste to energy facilities or the environment. Last June, the Government of Canada said that they're taking steps to reduce plastic pollution by working with provinces, territories and businesses. This includes the Canada-wide strategy on zero plastic waste, banning single-use plastics by 2021 under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. Canadian provinces are now slowly but surely working towards the plastic ban. In Ontario, the Single-Use Plastic Ban Act, or Bill 82, came out last year in March. It's meant to end distribution of single-use plastics in Ontario by 2025. These single-use products include plastic straws, plastic bags, coffee cups, and water bottles. Although the federal ban will save tons of plastics ending up in the oceans, business and consumers will be affected. Environment and Climate Change Canada said that working on reducing plastics can generate billions of dollars in revenue and create 42,000 jobs. On the other hand, Isabel Deschan, Executive Vice President of Chemistry Industry Association of Canada, said that the change may also eliminate thousands of jobs in the plastic industry. Jobs will be affected, um, particularly um, plastic producers. Many of those, uh, many of the over 80,000 jobs within the plastic product sector in Canada are um, small to medium-sized enterprises. Industry experts say that the change may also affect food prices and quality. The director of Agri-Foods Analytics Labs of Dalhousie University had this to say about the change. The pressure uh, is, is real on food prices uh, moving forward if we don't, uh, if none of these providers actually are able to develop the economies of scale allowing price force to be uh, maintained at a reasonable level. When it comes to food packaging in general or shelf life, but it is it is absolutely going to be an issue and to keep food fresh as long as possible. Some products uh, do travel thousands of, of kilometers and so uh, to maintain these products fresh of, and high, of high quality for long periods is, is going to be difficult to do. The federal government says that by improving and managing plastic waste, we can potentially reduce 1.8 million tons of carbon pollution in Canada. Besides Ontario, BC and Saskatchewan are already on top of their game. Major grocers in BC have already stopped using single-use plastics in stores. In Saskatchewan, businesses can be fined up to $10,000 for non-compliance of the ban, and individuals can also be fined up to $500. What do you think about the plastic ban? Let us know in the comments.